and welcome back and happy new year. I've had so many people tell me, check out on, check out on from Walmart. And this has uh, Android TV watch on. It says FHG streaming stick and it has all these apps that are available to get. Of course, some of these are paid. You do have like YouTube and stuff like that. And it says thousands more. It's got Dolby Audio, Chromecast built in, uh, HDMI, high definition multimedia interface. I'm really interested to see how this thing works. Now, if you guys are interested in this one, you guys could shoot me an email, uh, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. I try to hook you guys up with the latest and greatest. And always in the description below, I try to leave you guys some coupons and stuff. So let's see how this thing works. I'm actually very curious. And I, I got to say the packaging on this thing is kind of unique. So let's come over here and look at the bottom at, a, at the ground camera to see exactly what's inside this thing. All right, so here we go. Uh, so far, again, it's very unique. I don't know if I like this lime green and I totally just destroyed that. I don't know if I like this lime green, but here you go. Kind of interesting. Well, it is Walmart, so I'm <laughs> not surprised that it just fell apart like that. So on, it says here, it is a 2K streaming stick. It gives you the model number, quick start guide. So, all right, 2K. I hate when they do that, when they say, hey, this is 1.5K. <laughs> um, there you go. You get your little stuff here. The remote here is Google's. Uh, I forget which model it is, but this is the Google remote. There is some kind of, I don't know, I guess some kind of divider, but as you can see here, just basic, nothing fancy about it. I played with this remote before. It works pretty good. I am a fan of it. I wish with these ones that you could, I wish they were just colored and that way I could just say, this is an app, this is an app, this is an app, this is an app. So, but it is what it is. Uh, you do get a, uh, what is this, USB-A. So, it's standard, and you get your regular USB. I really do wish, I don't know why they don't use USB-C. Um, and I know some people really say, why go USB-C? It's like, why not? It's That's what is the latest and greatest. So, all right. So, so far, it's okay, not bad. Here is the streaming stick itself. I like how it's got the ventilation here that says on and on the bottom, lots of ventilation. And just looking at this thing, it does say 2K streaming stick. Um, it's got some serial numbers. This is where your power is going to be. Um, and yeah, there's your USB. You just plug it in and that's it. So I got to say, this thing feels Walmart. <laughs> it feels it feels like Walmart. It feels hella cheap. Um, and then you get your power which is going to be freaking impossible to get out. And there you go. Uh, again, the power brick feels a little bit on the cheap end. And here is going to be a HDMI extender. So which we're definitely going to be using. So it doesn't look too bad. It really, it really doesn't look too bad. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in here and we're definitely going to be plugging it in there. So, and then you also do get some batteries here, which is great. So, so you get uh, two alkaline AAAs. Um, I've got my own batteries that I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and power this guy up and see. And there looks like there's a little QR code right there. So yeah, it, it feels okay. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel great, but feels on the cheap end. So here we go. Moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and plug this in. And there you go. Again, that, that that connection just felt ugly. And that connection feels ugly. I can't tell if it's on or off. So there it is, on. It says, well, it's telling me it's on. And I love how my camera just likes to blow me up. There you go. Looks a little better. Cool, Android. Uh, the only thing, the only the, my only gripe on this thing, uh, as you can see here, it there's no light telling me if it's on or off. So, oh yeah, the only way I'm going to know if it's on or off is if I come here. So we're going to come here and again, I like, I like this remote. I, I've played with it several times and I think it's a good remote. I wish somebody would create a remote like this, a universal remote. So that way, you know, it could, people could enjoy this, this style of remote. So 
here we go. And you know what? It'd be nice actually to have something like this for the NVIDIA Shield, something really, really simple like this. So quickly set up. I'm going to skip for now. I, I know it's going to tell me to come back, but, you know, it is what it is. So if you guys are... Now, if you are wondering, the remote doesn't have any kind of backlight, so that way you guys know there's no backlight on this thing. There is a little tiny blinking light at the top, but other than that, there's no backlight on this thing. So at nighttime, it, you know, it, you might be wondering which button is which, but for the most part, it's good. So here we go, full oil OTA update. It's going to be doing some security patches. Anytime you see anything like this, leave it alone don't do anything so that update um i was not gonna let you guys sit there for that download and it's still going right now so it's been a little bit over an hour to download the patch and it's right now it's still installing so i always tell people when you get something like this and it says there's a download update of some sorts just let it do its thing um i walked away from it and i came back and it was still going i think it was like 660 something megabytes the the patch which i was like whoa that's a big that's a big file for it to be coming in it's it's a little bit over half a gig um it was you know the, the, there's it, you read in the beginning like you could rewind a little bit but you could see all the updates that were going so hopefully this takes a few more minutes and then we can actually get into it Okay, so five minutes later, it finally went through. So this is pretty simple, pretty standard. When you go sign in, you click on sign in, and you're going to be greeted with this screen here. It's very, very simple to sign into your Google stuff, and they make it very, very simple. The only thing I will say, though, is, is that going from screen to screen, as easy as it is, it does take a minute. Okay, so once you're done, and hopefully you didn't forget your username and password, just hit yes. I don't want this thing to know my location, help improve, nothing, uh, continue, and yeah, that's it. Just follow the on-screen instructions, get personal results, nope. Um, whatever you want, you could just set it up here exactly how you want. So I'm just going to hit continue, 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 and it's kind of like the standard android tv thing so control your volume not now for your tv i'm not going to set it up with my tv so the steps is a little bit like again it there's a lot of steps to go through there's a lot of things to do to finally get here and i wish they had the little link that says go to android.tv forward slash setup or whatever the code was and then boom you're done so it says this may take a moment you will notice some slowness while the apps are being updated so i'm just going to hit dismiss update your remote an update has been installed dismiss and yeah there you go everything is here exactly how like your nvidia shield is exactly how your chromecast is this is your android tv so one of the apps that i really like to use is called ida 64 and this gives me everything i need to know about this device all the specs and everything now here we go so i think this device is advertised as eight gigs of memory i'm left with internal storage free space about 2.7 gigs almost three gigs ouch that is very like you can't really put much on this streaming stick um right here actually right there you'll see it on 2k tv stick ascii manufacturer and ending device steven <laughs> hardware's m logic you got one gig of ram Okay, one gig of RAM is cool. I, you know, we've seen sticks with one gig of RAM work great. This one's a little bit slow so far. I know it's still doing updates. So it's got the, uh, it's a, it's a quad core ARM Cortex A53, which is good. And it's running a 32 bit. It says 64 bit ARM V8A, but it is a 32 bit. So things that make you go, hmm. Uh, I am, my, my capture card is a 1920 by 1080p. That's what it is. The screen resolution for whatever is reading it as a 720p. This stick is supposed to be a 2K stick. And it's not even reading a 1080p. Interesting. Very interesting. The Molly, it is running a 450 MP. So, okay, cool. Not bad. For my Android, we are running Android 9. The device is not rooted. Now, this is probably the most important part 
of this device because if it doesn't have the stuff that it needs to even run 1080p and it's showing it as 720 the way it's picking it up which is very interesting um, check this out so when it comes to your audio you got mp4 ac3 3 gpp these are all google omx audio decoders flock a la mpeg opus raw vorbis these like are all your standard stuff which is good now of course i i want to see a little bit it does the the, the device i thought it did say oh it, it says it has dolby audio but i don't see any dolby codex here we go dts hd so it, it does have dts hd interesting very 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 interesting so when it comes to video stuff check this out you got vp6 avc 3gpp hevc mjpeg mpeg2 there's some interesting ones here that they're using you do have a couple awesomes but these are some of the older ones you got RM10, 20, 30, 40, VP8, VP9. Again, you have H263 several times it's referenced here. And yeah, H263, I'm logic. It does, okay, right here, uh, let me move it down a little bit. It says AVC H264. Okay, this should push upscale and i say this very loosely 2k it's h264 is supposed to be a 4k uh 4k encoder to read but it reads it's an avc h264 and it's the only one that's in here basically a lot of this is h263 not the h264 there's only one h264 so i think i just confused myself <laughs> it has one h264 but it's avc and it's got several h263s which was pretty much your 1080p but it's I, I i can't make this up when when i come here to my display it says it right there 720 and my stuff can read 4k stuff easily and i have it on my capture card that should read at at least 1920 by 1080 and this is the first time i'm seeing this so yeah very very interesting here very interesting i am actually very beside myself right now when it comes to this stick so i didn't see anything with dolby it says dolby audio here on the box there wasn't a dolby there there is a specific codex that says dolby awesome i saw dts hd and if you guys know dts and dolby um two different things they two different companies they they, they do things differently so is this false advertisement um Possibly made in Vietnam, distributed in Arkansas, though. <laughs> I don't know what the hype is about, but you know what? We're going to get into it next video. We're going to be looking at, is this thing any good? Next video, we're going to see, if is it laggy? Is it powerful? Dump your fire stick for this. We'll see. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the on um i was very excited because i heard a lot of people really talking about it but not so excited about the specs after seeing that so we'll see we'll see we'll test it all out um yeah with all that being said you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys on the next one take care guys